Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. Let's have a quick look at the current energies that are surrounding you and the vibrations that are coming your way. Before we begin though, do remember these general readings always require some of your intuition because they just won't resonate with you all. But if this is your message and it helps in some little way, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and feel free to book a personal reading. Look below in the description if that's something that interests you. All right. Cancerians, let's get started. Hmm. Wow, Cancer. Sorry, I'm just soaking up all this beautiful energy. There's such a beautiful vibration coming in towards you guys here. Um, a very powerful energy that feels quite divinely guided towards you there's something here about alignment there's something here like i said about divine timing there's something here about even divine karmic justice that feels like it's been long awaited for a lot of you that feels also like it's been tapping on your window for quite some time cancer i feel like there have been energies that been that have been wanting to manifest in your life for a while these are energies that you've possibly intended on for um you know i'm picking up some months here where you've been either wishing on something healing something releasing something creating balance in something Thing. Um, and I kind of feel like all of those intentions in the next couple of days, weeks or months will start to come into alignment. And I do see some beautiful manifestations slowly start to creep into your reality. However, Cancer, I must tell you, this energy, like I said, I feel like it's been tapping on your window for quite some time. The universe has been trying to bring these beautiful manifestations towards you. There's some sort of karmic justice. There's some sort of reward that the universe wants to bring to you for all of the hard work that you've done on your spiritual journey. But I do sense that unfortunately, some of you are not sitting in the right energy, whether you're aware of it or not, Cancer. There are some energetical blocks here that could be preventing this energy from fully manifesting in your reality or could also just be slowing down the process. Um, I'm not 100% sure why you're sitting in such... Um, I hate to say it, it's feeling like a little bit of a lower vibration here, especially for cancers who are very spiritual and high vibrational. But I do sense that if I'm being honest, there has been some energies from your past that have could have that possibly have created these um boundaries, these blockages, these um sluggish vibrations due to possibly perceiving things in your past as missed opportunities or possibly people from your past just taking advantage of you and really disappointing you. I do sense that right now some of you, um, I'm going to be honest, there needs to be a little bit of a letting go here with the temperance and the star. It's major indication that for this um, alignment to completely happen, cancer needs to possibly heal something, release something, let go of something, um, understand something, forgive, okay? I'm getting a strong energy here of really needing to forgive either yourself or the people from your past who really have disappointed you and left you in this very defensive energy and cancer i'm not gonna i'm not judging at all i do get a very strong vibration from that seven of wands that you had to create these boundaries you had to kind of defend yourself from the people from your past i do get a strong indication that there were some offers especially romantically that left you feeling quite depleted. Um, there's an energy here of feeling very like losing a little bit of hope, losing a little bit of faith. Um, like I said, there've been intentions that you've set a while back that you've been waiting to manifest. And I feel that maybe the sluggish process of the manifestation has also left some of you in this pessimistic energy. But the universe is saying, hey, Cancer, we've been watching you and we are proud of you and we are ready to give you something. There's some sort of reward. There's some sort of lucky energy that the universe wants to bring towards you but remember the universe co-creates with you and just 
the vibes that you guys are in right now are not conducive to co-creating good luck so the universe is saying hey just take some time and look at really analyze the energy that you're in really just try to heal forgive like i said before create balance and then the universe will do the rest okay so that's what I'm picking up on here intuitively, guys. Very powerful, beautiful, um, universal energies here. I'm getting some sort of karmic balance. I'm getting a cycle, a very tough cycle closing off. And for a lot of you, you've learned your lessons. And that's why the universe wants to reward you. But I think there's just one little last lesson about um, something here about surrendering. You guys might just have to surrender this year. I know like in the past years, you had to be defensive. But in this year, you need to surrender, go with the flow, uh, focus on your watery, loving energy, and just let the universe do the rest, okay? Um, the energies that you're in are not... I don't feel cancer vibrations, okay? Um, there's something here about needing to maybe also go back to your spirituality, take some salt baths, um, use your crystals, do some yoga, meditate, sit in the moonlight, maybe, uh, whatever it is that you do that creates balance and healing for you needs to be done again. But let's see why Cancer's currently sitting in such, um, a pessimistic energy. I don't like to say the word pessimistic, just, um... You know, you guys have been through it, so I just see you expecting to continue to go through it. Mm. Okay, so there has been some sluggish movement here with manifestation, possibly. Um manifestation communication something something that you are wanting to happen is happening extremely slowly and that could be where the internal conflict is coming from um something that you are hoping for might not have happened quite yet and that could be where the self-doubt is coming from uh but the universe is saying once again relax it's coming with that page of cups there's a beautiful offer coming in but once again you need to also just change your perspective with that hangman look at everything from a different angle and you might be able to see that once again you went through everything you went through for growth and with that growth you are finding the right alignment to receive this energy that's coming in towards you okay these beautiful blessings Let's get into this high vibrational energy. We love fortune, temperance. Wow. We could also be getting some angelic um, assistance here. Ooh, lovely, the world. Closing off of a cycle if you pair that up with the wheel. I think I did say that before. That something is closing off here and I think it's those hardships when it comes to your past connections um, for those of you who really have learned the lessons and have gathered um, resilience have gathered strength of how to better protect yourself yes definitely don't drop all your boundaries but don't also drop your faith I think that's what these cards are saying because once again something's coming in when the time is right Okay, I think in the next couple of weeks or maybe about like a month or two, this alignment, alignment will start to happen. Um, just clear yourself and make sure that you're, you're ready to receive it so that you can maybe even speed it up a little bit. Okay, because it, it does feel a bit stagnant for some of you. But I mean, energy will struggle to make its way through this type of vibration, you know. Wow closing off of cycles um and i just feel like everything happened for a reason with that strength i do justice in the stars something very karmic and divine here something about possibly um your soul's journey you know mm, something that you don't see coming in victory as well there's definitely something you don't see coming in here maybe because yeah maybe because you wow you guys are really 
and so this energy is worrying me a little bit um like i said especially for cancers i guess you're not the most open water sign but you guys genuinely are pretty open and i'm just sensing a lot of blocked energies here okay so have a look at that heal that release that because you ultimately are the master of your world and the universe can only do so much this energy can only do so much if you're not ready to receive it you might actually miss the cycle and find yourself back in this four of cups energy so just be aware just be aware for those of you who do heed that warning and for those of you who do once again choose to just kind of let bygones be bygones as the six of swords indicates this is a beautiful card of kind of just one, like i said before uh learning your lessons as these two people are they indicate this person's precious commodity i know that's a major word but that's the one that came out but it just feels like you have you've gathered your stuff you've gathered your lessons and these are very valuable lessons they were very tough lessons with the swords but if you are willing, allow yourself to jump on this boat and let the universe take you away from this turbulence and take you to something a lot better because that's what the universe is intending for you. And if you don't believe me, look at these beautiful energies of success. And I do, once again, this isn't for all of you, but the energies that have created these boundaries around you have had a lot to do with love doesn't have to be all of you but most of you i do sense that you have dealt with a lot of connections where people were unreliable untrustworthy and took you for granted and that's why you had to block them um but do know that this new cycle that you're stepping into is with people who wow better connect with you look at all this watery energy this cancery vibration um this new cycle that you're stepping into is going to be with a divine counterpart it's going to be with that gift that has told you about that the universe wants to give you this gift might have to do with love okay and for those of you who are already in a relationship maybe your relationship has been out of balance and that's why you're so defensive if you're able to heal drop those defenses um focus on yourself and i do see that your person will actually level up and mirror your energy back towards you okay so it all begins with you but success is coming okay success is not knocking on your door but the cause once again it all begins with you you have to get on this boat to get the success of a beautiful love connection so yeah guys that's pretty much it let's jump into the light seers see if any of these messages correlate or if the cards have anything extra to give us Anything for Cancer Universe. Beautiful stuff though, Cancer. I really do love this. Ooh, Six of Wands again. I do love the energy. I do love the energy. some sort of cause for celebration coming in so maybe that celebration will be within yourself um spiritually as you see some sort of manifestation come to um fruition i do see you possibly just having a little bit of an internal celebration or an internal like thank you to the universe okay You guys are stepping into a beautiful, long-awaited cycle. Like I said, for some of you, that could be where that pessimism is coming from. Maybe it did take some time, but everything happens in divine timing. And this definitely feels like why it's taken some time is because it was aligning. It wasn't the right time before. And if you make the right judgment to let bygones be bygones this alignment will actually happen in the next couple of weeks okay there's beautiful balance coming in once again i'm getting some powerful universal energies but the universe once again needs you to be a little bit more it's almost like you guys need to reset 
you have to kind of carry a little bit more of a childlike enthusiasm in this new cycle and with childlike enthusiasm you're not holding on to anything from the past you're just happily anticipating something new and that's what the universe is asking from you um hangman has come out twice look at the pace that everything has happened at a different perspective i think that's what you need to do to recognize that everything that's happened was actually a gift to help you level up as an individual in some way so carry it in that way because the next couple of weeks months maybe three to six months for some of you a lot of victory and success is coming in financial um, financial individual romantic um, just i just see a lot of your connections being fruitful i see a lot of your connections being happy and i see some sort of love connection manifesting for you as well um, a lot of success when it comes to your connections um so beautiful that's what the universe is aligning for you wow it has been a struggle but like i said the struggle was for, for a purpose Things are about to speed up. That's what I'm getting. Things are about to... Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Remember, energy is fluid. You guys can do what you will with this reading. But like I said before, you are ultimately the master of your universe. And depending on your energy, if you keep getting stuck in your head, overthinking, second-guessing yourself, worrying, doubting, then you will slow the pace down. If you're able to let go and carry that full vibration where you're just going with the flow, surrendering, things will speed up for you with that Knight of Swords. And if you are able to collaborate with the universe, work on your healing, work on your intentions, set new intentions for this new year, um, better intentions, healthier intentions, and then just watch them manifest really, really quickly. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, new cycles, new powerful vibrations either in money or love or both or just abundance is the energy i'm getting there so wow cancer look at that how lovely is this reading your grounding energy is moonlight very cancerian energy so i think that's just the universe saying once again use the moonlight to heal to clear to balance use your crystals leave them outside at night all of that beautiful stuff all right Moonlight beckons, come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Get out of your head, guys, and into your heart, okay? Your hunches will be right on target. Resist. <gasps> Didn't I say something about don't second guess yourself? And then it literally says resist second guessing yourself <laughs> for your alternate perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond your surface oh my gosh guys use your intuition please tap back into that cancer energy sorry <laughs> i can't believe how beautifully this is tying in you can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines this is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one it comes subtly through hunch through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound, or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you right now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. <gasps> you guys, this beautiful alignment is in your hands. It's time to let bygones be bygones and open up to a new cycle because goddamn, it's going to be powerful. So thank you for sticking with me, 19 minutes. Apologies, it took this long. Love you guys, drop your boundaries and just wait for this beautiful alignment. Bye.